went on a shopping spree that I wasn't supposed to, but I did anyways. I got some art supplies from TJ Maxx and I got these maybe yesterday or the day before yesterday. And I've been dying to just like unbox them. So I probably won't use them tonight because it is my bedtime technically, but I've been watching the marathon artists in wonderland on 10 huns channel and i got my you know my gear rooting for team usa you know what i'm saying team usa <clears throat> but while i watch that i'm gonna unbox or basically show you guys what i have in my bag i got 60 dollars worth of art supplies at tj maxx has some good stuff you guys I'm really impressed so I'm gonna set this up and kind of show you some of those things hopefully my audio doesn't get ruined again I'm trying to get better at audio that's my next goal so I've been trying to do some editing here and there but audio seems to be the one thing that I can't seem to get so I'm gonna jump into this little bag thing and Team USA. All right, so my art desk that I recently purchased has been my everything these days. I love sitting over here and having a separate workstation from my computer area. I do occasionally bring my iPad over so that it gets um, even more convenient. Um, actually, here it is. <laughs> So, I was teaching a watercolor class to my students last week, and I did most of my work here. Okay, so, the very first thing I bought, none of these things I actually needed. I didn't need any of these things. Do you hear me, guys? None of it. <laughs> but I thought it would be fun to um, do like a little art haul from... A specific store and I chose TJ Maxx because I always seem to get some good things there um, this reminds me of when I first started considering starting a YouTube channel and I used to do beauty stuff which I don't do anymore I would do like beauty hauls and all those types of things but then I realized that beauty wasn't my thing um, I love makeup. I just couldn't commit to loving it. And I think loving it in a way that was going to be my job. So I loved it as a fun thing. But art, I can see me loving it and having it be my job. Long story short, let's jump into this bag. Okay, so the first thing I got was this enormous sketchbook for $10, 11 by 14, premium mixed media paper pad by King Art. You guys know that I have used several King Art things before and this paper is amazing. This comes with 60 sheets. It felt like it was way more than 60. You can see how thick the paper is. Let's take a look here. So that's actually two sheets. Pretty thick. Nice and textured, um, and I'm excited to use that. Heavyweight paper, acid-free, and 98 pound, 160 grams. The next thing I decided to purchase was this brush set, again by King Art, $12.99. They seem to be more, yep, acrylic base, oil base, watercolor. I think whenever they suggest that you can use things for said medium, I would just pick one medium and have that be specifically for that. If I were to use these for acrylic, these would remain my acrylic brushes. Watercolor is the one that it's interchangeable. So if you always use these for watercolor, I think 
and it gets to a point where they kind of get old and stuff, you can dive into like acrylic and oil, but don't go back and forth. I definitely don't suggest that. Then I got another King Art thing. So as you know, they do sell a lot of King Art supply. Um, and I was really curious to see how these watercolors perform. I don't expect anything um, sort of professional level, but like it says, no rules, just art. And I appreciate the fun colors, the little tin that it comes in. I'm excited to open this up and just paint. I think this will be good on the mixed media paper and I'm excited to see how that turns out. Okay, another King Art item. I should get sponsored. I don't know if they do sponsorship, but these watercolor pencil sets are um, interesting to me. I never seen them um, in a woodless watercolor style. I've seen watercolor pencils before, but usually they do have wood. And these ones are pretty like saturated. You can see the film on there, but I'm sure that once that film is gone, you can really get some vibrant colors. So I'm excited to see how they layer out, <clears throat> excuse me. I'll probably try them a few different ways, but these are the ones I'm most excited for. All right, so I got one more item in there. This one I've never seen before, actually. These are markers, which I'm kind of interested to see, like, what is it? Like, is it a crayon? Is it a tempera paint? And, or a marker? So they label these as Create Beautiful Art with Layered and highly pigmented tempera paint pens. But up here they say pastel and then they're, they're called markers. And the way these look is giving that they are some type of crayon similar to the, the tempera paints that I got, that I actually reviewed last time on my channel. Um, definitely check out that video, but this vibe is giving a painterly vibe. And look at how pretty that landscape is. So these are pastel. I would definitely make florals. And these are called We Are Markers. Okay, so the last thing I purchased was this Crafts for All. Um, these are labeled as acrylic paint markers. And I'm excited to see the tips. Honestly, I've never seen a marker that has a pointy tip and a rounded tip, or maybe I just haven't been looking too hard, but I usually see them with like a chisel and a round or like a double round. Um, but these colors seem pretty interesting. These were $8.99. I don't expect nothing from these as well, other than fun. And that is it. So in total, there's a fly in my room, it's driving me nuts. In total, I spent $65.82. Not too bad. Definitely not what I was supposed to be doing at TJ Maxx. But I think I'm gonna try to unbox these and then tomorrow I'm going to um, Sorry, I'm like distracted by this fly. <laughs> so in true fashion, I end up having some type of audio issue. It started to work, but it's fine. I realized I ended up needing to do this portion as a sped up version anyway. So it worked out in my favor. So this sketchbook is actually okay. It's not the best paper, but it did its job. I don't think it handles water mediums too well. So to give you a review on these, 
paint pens, which I end up discovering that's, that that's exactly what they are. They have a bit of a film on them when you start and they kind of feel like jelly a little bit. They remind me a lot of the crayons that they make, the King Art crayons, except for they're a little bit softer. So they instantly dry. They aren't water soluble like the King Art crayons. And they have that initial film that let you kind of protect it a little bit longer, I'm assuming. But I started to kind of play around with these to see if I could make a little painting and I fell in love. I wish I had more colors to create a variety um, for my landscape. But this overall little sketch that I did here was so much fun. If you do get your hands on these, I don't know if they exist on Amazon. But these were pretty pretty fun to mess with and the best part of it all is that it dries immediately they act as a a paint almost and they actually layer really well I love the way that I was able to layer some of the colors and you'll see that as the painting progresses but these are a 10 out of 10 Okay, so here's the final painting with these paint pens. I love that I was able to create texture. I'm a big texture girly and these were able to give me the texture that I was seeking. I love that they dry fast. I didn't like the film that, that was initially on there at first, but overall, they're pretty medium to low quality item so I didn't expect much but the pigment was sure enough there okay so here we have the markers again super impressed I love that I get three varieties in pen tips pumping the paint into the tips took me a while but it does come with this little blue tweezer and I was able to kind of pull things out and interchange the tips if you don't want to get paint on your fingers but you kind of still end up getting paint on your fingers. Overall the little baggie that it comes with is the fine liner tip which is so convenient. I wish that like all the other markers come with this option to give you a variety in tips. Um, so you can see here, I'm playing around with different shapes and different pen strokes. The chisel gives me a good wide line. The bull nose gives me a nice uh, soft curvy line. And then with the fine liner, I can go as far as writing my signature with these. The only issue that I had with this particular fine liner is that it kind of splatters a bit when you flick up so you kind of have to be careful it does hold a lot of pigment in that little tip and you can see how fine things get they're so fun i wrote my signature and i was able to treat it like a regular pen so overall this product is a 10 out of 10 the color variety the fact that it comes with two metallics the pen liner types that you can get out of this, super sweet. Love this product. Moving into the watercolor pencils, these have so much pigment. I mentioned this earlier. I love these. These are so much fun. I'm excited to test out a painting with this. I haven't tried it just yet, but look at how pigmented that is. I would say that these... With the exception of a couple colors, are really good at kind of getting rid of that initial sketch line that you do with the, the pencil. So they suggested that you can color and then water paint with it. And they also suggested that you can dip the pencil into water and paint with it. So that's what I'm doing here is testing out both. 
and you can see how much pigment comes off of that purple. I can take that and kind of run with it. So I then jump into the King Art watercolor palette. I was, how can I say? <laughs> I wasn't impressed. And this is another reason why I ended up giving these away because they were very chalky. They had a lot of issues. I don't know how else to say it. Maybe if I gave them a second chance, I would have liked them, but I didn't initially like the the chalkiness, the way that things weren't um, showing up as like a typical watercolor. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but it felt like uh, a student grade quality. It wasn't, okay, I'm being a little harsh here. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't what I really wanted. Like the brown didn't show up as true brown. Um, that purple was actually kind of pretty, but I, I think I was expecting for there to be a little bit more movement. Then again, I was sitting there thinking, what if it's the brush, right? I use a lot of my faux hair brushes on watercolor. So it could have been the brush. It could have been the paper. It could have been that I didn't let the water saturate through the paint. Overall, this product was I would say a 5 out of 10. If you're looking for something cheap and fun then maybe a 10 out of 10 because it was super fun, super cheap and very easy to kind of access but it all depends on on the person. The overall color variety was there. I mean look at the color options that I had. If I actually like only had this watercolor palette and really focused on getting that best quality out of the paint, I could have probably produced something really nice. But I'll never know because I gave it away. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This one was so fun to do. What was your favorite product that I used? My favorite product was the paint pens. I loved this paper. I for sure loved the brushes. So let me know what you think in the comments below. You can see here that the paper didn't hold up well with the watercolor, but it was all right. See you in the next one.